This portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. He's not a new face to the Senate, but according to the Free National Movement, he represents a new generation of independent thinkers passionate about building the Bahamas. After much speculation, leader of the Free National Movement, Dr. Hubert Minnis, announced a former senator and candidate for Cat Island, Rumkey and San Salvador in the 2012 elections, Michael Pintard, as the replacement to embattle former Senator John Bostwick, who was asked to resign after facing an ammunition possession charge just last month. We get the story tonight from Clint Watson. And he, like us, will help us to build this new Bahamas, a Bahamas where Bahamians would now own as opposed to just being workers. Free National Movement leader Dr. Hubert Minnis announcing Michael Pintard as the new FNM senator designate. Dr. Minnis says the selection came from a wide tent of very intelligent and competent Bahamians who could fit the mold. Pintard, he says, will assist the party in its mandate to build an equal opportunity society where young people have a place. Senator designate Pintard says he will be diligent, meticulous, and fearless in discharging his duties. This appointment, as many of you know, come at a time when civil liberties in the Bahamas are under assault. This appointment comes at a time when whistleblowers are sought out to be punished, while the gatekeepers who should be investigated are rewarded for presiding over substantial financial losses and repeated bad decisions involving the people's money. My appointment comes at a time when the government would like the nation to be focused only on the alleged reprehensible act of spying by the United States, rather than focus on the even more reprehensible spying by them through the NIA, an illegally constituted agency. Pintard charges that the government is not being realistic in its projections, but instead paints a deceptive picture of growth and development, particularly in Grand Bahama. He claims gaming has been the most dominant issue on the government's agenda, while in his view, other critical areas are ignored. Pintard pledges that regardless of how long he remains in the Senate, his intention is to stand up and fight for what is the best interest of Bahamians. You will find me supporting the environmental movement for while many Bahamians are determined to ensure economic development. We are not determined to ensure it at the cost of the environment. You would find me, along with colleagues, addressing matters in the coroner's court, where many residents are crying out for answers. And of course, we will be at dump sites, addressing issues that seem not to be able to be resolved. And whether it means demonstrating in or outside of government buildings, we certainly intend to stand. Whether it means taking legal action to seek remedies in the court. In concluding his acceptance remarks, Senator Designate Pintard says he stands in solidarity with his brother, John Boswick, that in the end, justice will prevail. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News. Member of Parliament for Marco City, Greg Moss, took the government to task during his contribution to the budget debate last night, saying he could not support any new taxation for Bahamians. Moss, who spoke at length about the introduction of value-added tax, said it would only further oppress already financially burdened Bahamians. Instead, he called for government to revisit the idea of fiscal responsibility, which was the premise of Moss, his contribution last night. He also asked the government to consider amendments to the law to protect citizens at risk of losing their homes from the predatory practices of local banks. Using the British model as, as an example, Mr. Moss said it would take the power away from commercial banks to simply sell someone's home without court approval. But the approach that's been used in other parts of the world is simply to say, we will give a discretion to judges. And it doesn't cost this parliament or this government a penny. It's just a discretion. And that's where that discretion um, belongs. That's the way it should be. Not with us, but with the courts. Because they have a whole body of law that they administer a whole body of authorities to tell them what rules to follow in exercising that discretion. And the convenient part of that is that we don't get into these Article 27 questions about deprivation of property and so on. It's a judgment of the court. It's a simple, simple formula. And it applies throughout the world. 
The Ministry of National Security is kicking off its Give Every Child a Father program this Sunday at the Salem Baptist Church. According to National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage, the program is designed to provide father figures and mentors to as many of the country's young men who are in need of them as possible. The ministry hopes the commission, or rather hopes to commission 50 Bahamian men in the first wave of mentors at a ceremony at the Salem Baptist Church this Sunday at 3 p.m. Organizers hope to have a full complement of mentors to pair with young boys. To sign up, you can contact the team at telephone number 6014842 or 5013300. Today is World Environment Day and staff at the Ministry of Environment and Housing joined countries around the world in celebrating the event. The United Nations has designated World Environment Day as a time for all nations to focus on the environment and efforts needed to preserve and maintain it. Staff of the Ministry of the Environment and Housing marked the event with an award ceremony. Permanent Secretary Camille Johnson noted that the Bahamas, like other small island states, is already feeling the effects of climate change. We have had um, uncommon weather. We have a lot more tornadoes and cyclones, and we all have had, had suffered under Hurricane Sandy. The purpose of this day is to focus everyone in the globe on, on environment sustainability. And in fact, they often consider this a day for the people to get involved. In the Bahamas, as you know, our highest point is some 270 feet. So even a minuscule rise in the temperature and rise in sea level means we're going to lose a significant portion of our land. The Ministry of Environment and Housing also held a poster competition and awarded cash, cell phones, a Samsung tablet and a laptop to the winners. And first of all, become advocates for protecting the environment. We can include environment sustainability in our national development plan. Individual people, we can recycle, we can support the ban on plastics, we can walk to work instead of using cars that, in, that cause emissions into the, into the globe. We can do all of these things to fight the, the depletion of the ozone layer. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it.